Today we're checking the transmission fluid. I've never checked it before. Uh, that's the plug right there. I've already checked and it's a 9 16 And it is. Oh, look at that. It's actually loose. So. It does look like it's full enough. Yeah, that's some nasty looking fluid. Wow. It smells terrible. Well, it probably wouldn't hurt to change it. Well, then the next question is, where is the drain plug on this thing? So the yellow part, that's the bottom of the transmission. And you can see where it dips down and has a, a lower portion or a sump on the left. So the drain plug is on the, the, the side of that. So I took the little floor plate off here with the half inch wrench, bolt here and a bolt there. And one up here that wasn't bolted in. So this plate comes out of here. And if I pull that plug out right now, it'll go right onto the to the skid plate. So I made a fancy dancy funnel thingy out of an old drain pipe. And I'll stick slide this in here. pull that plug out it will run out the back and into my pan my plug here uses a one inch wrench and believe it or not ah, it's actually loose look at that Now I'm going to drop that plug out. It's just now starting to... Oh, it's just now going into the bucket. Yay! <laughs> Finally! Yeah. Looks like liquidy mud. And now we wait. Well, it's been three hours. And it is still draining. Well, two days later, it rained, so I threw a tarp over it. Well, I think it's drained pretty sufficiently. I guess it could be worse. It does look like caramel. I stuck a stick in there to just see if I could work any anything out that might have been in there and out came this ball but I'm assuming that this ball just sits in the end of this drain plug why I haven't a clue I have no idea what it would do but there it is I think to uh Keep the ball in the end when I put this back in, keep it from falling out. I'm just gonna put a little little dab of grease right there. And in theory, that should keep the ball from falling off. Right? Oh yeah. Eventually it would, but it's not for now.
Um, I let it drain for at least at least two days and it looks like it's not too bad there's not a lot of dirt it's not like the engine was the engine looked terrible but the transmission actually is just caramel that's in there I think that's okay <laughs> no, it's just brown so I think I'm just gonna put the plug back in and uh, just fill it back up with regular uh, 90 weight probably do some 90 weight I got 140 weight also so I'll probably do half and half and we'll just call it good it's overflowing I can't tell if it's overflowing or not oh. I think it's full and overflowing. Kind of strange since I only uh, put about four quarts in. It's supposed to hold like six. But I'll run it and then check it. Okay. Just like that we'll start it up and see how it sounds Take it for a test run because I just changed the transmission oil and I know I had a leak in my uh, whatever it's called water pump but oh goodness there's a reason they call these things money pits but I've got one. I've got a spare one laying around. I've got an extra one. See, it's just dripping in there. Well, first thing, since I just took it for a run, which I did not get on film because it started leaking antifreeze like crazy out of the... I think it's the water pump. But before we begin on that project... Let's check where we're at. It looks like it's well, it is what it is, and that's all it is. Kind of frustrating, to be honest. Oh, one thing after the other. I love, there's a, I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. Oh, well, I know the transmission's full. And now we have another project to work on. Isn't that what we want to do? Is just be working on this and spending money on this thing all the time. Well, today I'm going to be changing the transmission. Well, today I'm going to be changing the oil and the transition. Transition. 